Hi everyone, in this video I want to cover the technical aspects of using the Chocofer model manager. The things I want to cover in this video will be setting up your models library correctly, adding your own 3D models to the library or the other Chocofer models. I'm going to also talk about handling the materials within the add-in or updating the add-in in the first place. The whole list of subjects that I'm talking about will be linked in the video description together with the timestamps and now let's just not drag it and jump into it directly. One of the most common questions after we've released the new version of the model manager was how do I update if I have the older version because I get this pop-up when I click OK I get this error. And when I go to my Chocofer model manager preferences here, when I click the update button, I also get this pop-up. Well, that's unfortunately due to some updates that were done in Blender and we weren't able to bypass them. If you have the version 1.1 and below of the model manager, you have to download a zip file and update it, uh, the manager this way. That's why this pop-up appears and it redirects you to this strangely named file, which is in fact our model manager, the same one as on the website, but that's why I suggest downloading it from the website directly. It's less confusing this way. After you install and update the new version of the model manager, I want to start with setting up the library correctly again. So after you type your library name here and direct to the library path, please remember to go click this button down here and save the preferences, otherwise Blender will lose those settings after restart. Now I want to take a moment and explain one more time how to set up the model's library correctly. So I choose a drive on my computer and I create a folder there. This is the folder I need to point into here in the path section of the settings and this folder consists the categories that are displayed here. These categories were created from the free Chocofor models that I downloaded from the Chocofor store. These names are generated automatically. So if I create a new folder here, it will be visible in the model manager. It doesn't happen instantly, but if we just go here and refresh one of the categories, you can see we have the exact same folder here. If I change the name, the update will be also visible in a second after refreshing like this. So if I click this folder and I enter this folder here, you can see we have nothing. If I create a new folder here, it will be visible here in the model manager. So this is how the categories this, let's say, main folders within the root folder, th these are the categories and they are displayed here and can be expanded using those arrows. And inside the categories, we have the subcategories folder, which can be displayed here. So let's say with the materials category, I have the fabric and I can see it here. I have base shaders and they are visible here. If I create any new folder, it will be also visible here, but it will be empty. So how do we add 3D models to the library so they are visible inside of the model manager? I'm going to use this new folder category with those two subcategories visible. You can see I can access them here. And I've downloaded some of the single files from the Chocofor store. Let's use the Chocofor Grass 01, for example. Let's extract it to folder anywhere. And when I enter this newly created folder, I have to copy the blend file renders and maps folders into those subcategories. So don't paste them here. First, you need to enter any of the subcategories and now you paste the selection. After you refresh the model manager, you will see an image file visible here and the add asset button available below. So when I click it, you can see 3D models are imported now to Blender 
and the way it's happening you can see the blend file name is the chocofer grass 01 and when i enter the renders folder there is a jpeg file with the exact same name so the way blender links the image file with the 3d model is by using names and they have to be the same if you want things to be working inside of the model manager one note you have to use jpegs here unfortunately the add-in doesn't support any other file format as for now so let's now add the other grass models so i can select the multiple files right click and extract them here directly you will see something like this happening but don't worry we can sort the files by type and now I can select all of those blend files together with the renders folder and the maps folder. I'm gonna move everything here so you can see the new renders were added and we have all of the blend files visible. And when I go to the model manager and refresh, the new files will be available here within just a click. Now, what's also important is the maps folder. All of the textures that you're using for your models should be put next to the renders folder in a separate maps folder. And all of this has to be placed inside of the sub category, which we can now rename. I will also demonstrate it for, for the cars. I will select all of the zip files extract them here now delete the zip files and i can just move all of this content into the new subcategory folder so again please remember to put everything inside of the folders let's go to the model manager and you can see all the cars are available here now we can also rename it and the change will be visible here almost instantly. Now I would like to show how to install Choco4 model bundles into the manager. So if you've purchased any of the bundles or you're the owner of the Choco4 lifetime bundle, you have to go to your account and then within the downloads section here or here, you can see all of the individual files can be downloaded here so you can go into the certain category or you can just click the bundles and if you have any bundles purchased they will be all visible here so in this video i will show you how to install let's say the flower bundles and the kitchen sets we try to upload new assets almost every month, so if you want to keep track of the news, go to the bundle updates here within your accounts dashboard and you can preview all of the new stuff here. So if you're the lifetime bundle owner, you are able to download all of those assets directly from here or you can download the complete bundles with those new models. So for example, to get those armchairs, you have to go to the download section bundles and find the launch bundle here and it will always include the newly added stuff installing choco for bundles to the models library and making them visible in the model manager is super easy as you can see i've downloaded the flowers bundle and the kitchen sets and i've already unzipped them to individual folders let's start with the flowers when i enter the folder you can see the details folder here which is exactly the same as the category and in fact if i enter this folder i can already see the subcategory exactly as here and when i enter the subcategory it has the entire structure ready so i can just go back to the categories view here within my library and just drag and drop this folder here I need to replace all of the files because there are also free models included within this bundle that I've just downloaded and the models are already installed. So if I go to the details, choose flowers and left click here, you can see the entire set of new 3D models visible within the model manager.
Installing the kitchen sets will be exactly the same. So if I enter the folder, you can see the furniture sets folder exactly the same as in my library. All I have to do is to move it or copy it here to the main library, replace all of the files and go into the model manager, choose the kitchen set of my liking and choose the individual models. The latest version of Chaco4 Model Manager supports multiple libraries and it works well with the Chaco4 vendors. Vendors are external companies that decided to bring their 3D models and materials to Blender together with Chaco4. Right now I will show you how to download those two 3D people model packs together with this material pack from Arway Textures and set them up in the Chaco4 Model Manager. Please remember that the vendor products are not included in the Lifetime Bundle, but if you own Lifetime Bundle from Chocofer, you also get a permanent discount if you'd like to purchase any of the vendor products. Let's now set up the vendor's library inside of the Model Manager. As you can see, I already have it here. You can add extra library pressing this button and you can delete by pressing this button. The name is like that and I already have a folder created here. Let's enter inside and you can see we have no categories. I've downloaded two packs of 3D people and one pack of materials from Arway Textures and you can see this is how they look when I unzip them. So if I click this folder I can see two subcategories with all the file structure inside. So I can just move it here and I can do the same with the materials. Once we get everything to Blender, let's now point to the new library and hit accept twice and let's save the preferences. If the model structure is established already inside of a library, it will be visible here. Otherwise, you might need to restore Blender for those models to be visible inside of the manager. With everything set up correctly, you are now able to add the extra vendor 3D models to your Blender scenes. One of the most common questions that I was getting was, is it possible to add materials to the model manager? And the answer is yes, but you have to apply them to a 3D geometry before. So for example, you can see those wooden floorings from airway textures can be only added to scene if they are applied to a plain object like this one and saved as a blend file and linked with the rendering that has the same name as the blend file. The materials can be applied to any type of geometry. So for example, with the chocofer shaders, we are using this kind of material ball and it's being important to the scene when you click the add asset button. And if you'd like to apply the materials to a geometry that you have in your 3D scene, let's use this cube for example, all you have to do within the material settings here, click on this material sphere and choose the shader that you want to be applied. So let's do that again. I'm going to choose this wooden floor from our way texture, add it to the scene. This can be deleted. And now with my object selected, I want to choose the shader that was added. If you're adding your own 3D models to the Choco4 model manager, remember you can have multiple objects within the blend file. The only rule you have to follow is to save the blend file under exactly the same name as the render file you want to later use within the Choco4 models library. If your 3D model is using textures, you have to always place them within the maps folder, which is next to the blend file, just like that. And then inside Blender, you have to go to File, External Data, Find Missing Files, point to the maps folder and the textures you have there, click Find Missing Files, then go and choose make all paths relative. This is very important to click that and save 
your blend file once it's done. Without that, if you move your textures to the Chocofer library folder, Blender won't be able to find them. So it's very important to point into the Maps folder, which is next to your Blend file in the original directory. So thanks everyone for watching. If you have any Chocofer Model Manager related questions, feel free to get in touch with us at support at chocofer.com. You can also reach out to us on Twitter or Facebook and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos. That will be it for now. Stay safe everybody and see you in another Chocofer video. Bye bye.